All right, here we go. We got Reboot Tournament, which is out of the from, it's from Core to Order and Chaos of a modified card pool to make stuff more balanced. It's over on Stem Hack Slack, created by uh, the big boy and I think uh, Fighting Walloon. So we are in week one of our reboot tournament, which again is core through uh, order and chaos with some tweaked cards slightly. The first time each turn you encounter a piece of ice, it gains that. What do I think about this? Uh. All right, I don't necessarily love. Hold on, I gotta tweak this just to him. Let me get that bigger there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan. I think I like that better. Got plenty of card draw in this first one here. That's for sure. All right. Boom, boom. Ice, ice, baby is, is what just happened here. Um, let's draw. I don't like any of my options here. Let's run R and D. Let's see what's crack a lacking. What did I get? Oh, I'll take it. All right, let's run headquarters. <laughs> All right, I like it. See, Data Raven, not great. Ooh, yikes. Well, looks like he's got intentions to tag me. And I have broke myself. I'm just going to get money and slow down. I already got an agenda. Okay. Okay. Is that a three for? Oh, but this one is place one advanced with token on a card that can be an advance that was not installed this turn. So it's, it still gives a hint of, it doesn't really give the fast advance it once did. Right. Boom. Let's see what we got here. Mm-hmm. There it is. All right, we're tied up. It's getting money. I got to get my money up, honestly, okay? Because I got to remember, he's he's running C source. Excuse me. He's got a Jackson Howard. Next time I want to drop that quality time. 
could be out of time here. Yep, there it is. A bill. Okay, he's pushing. He's pushing. Looks like I'm going to have to go all in, though. Come on. Tell me something good. Come on, give me something. Ooh, I'm dead. I just died. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, is there any way I can... Oh, man, I got nothing here. Mm, mm, mm. It's bad business. Bad business. But wait, he might only have one, though. Let's see, what am I going to trash? I'm going to trash that. I'm going to trash that. And I will trash, yeah, I think one of these will suffice. Does he have two Scorched Earth? Oh, well. Very interesting. I just saw a sea source and a scorched earth, and somehow I'm still alive right now. I gotta be more particular, though. I did get to utilize that Astrolab when he created a new server. I got to draw a card, which was very nice. This is not going well, really.
So at this point, he's still richer than me. He's got a C source. He's got a, okay. All right, that's good. That's good. It's quick, easy money. Well, if he got him another one, ooh, it might be over now. This game would be over so usual, right? He's, he's just going to hit you with the uh, C source. Oh, really? That's brutal. All right, we're currently six to four. See if he can wrap it up here. It's a good chance. I don't know that all the bills are out though. So if he's got an Astro, and then the Astro scripts are going for three still. Yeah, if he if he has another one of those, it's an easy day for him. I'm hoping that's not the case. Okay. Come on, give me one. Give me something good. Hmm. Yes. Now I got to go check this. Come on. I'll take a one at this point. I'll take a TGBT. Can I get a, I want a TGBT now. Can I have it? 
Huh? Oh, it's a Jackson Howard. Yeah, I'll pay two. All right. Okay. Ooh, ooh, what? No way. Game blouses? Ah. with this uh oh actually i can't i don't think i've played with this deck at all actually so this should be relatively easy for him let me see what's in this deck real quick kind of safe here just stay calm and keep chiving Hmm. 
already. Let's see, when the runner encounters kinetic gains, do one net damage for each card in the runner's grip for the remainder of this run. I like it. Well, you're seeing this deck for the first time I've ever played it, so watch me make blunders and figure this thing out mid-tournament. It's such a shame, but I played the runner deck like five, six times. Never got around to the corp, unfortunately. Let's see, trash up to five programs. Okay, he's got money in the bank. Oh, they made that a little cheaper. That's nice. about that oh no well that's easy then I got a sentry over here that'll be easy for him to break too it's not looking good for the home team here. like it. Running a little more now. What? Hold up. Oh my goodness. Hold up, whenever you install. So that's if you do install a program from your grip or heat lowering. Wow, he can just throw it back out there for the same price. got a whole lot more options now that I get it for the low
what I mean is usually I'm too cheap to drop two, but now I got zero, one, and two as reasonable approaches because I gain two bucks anytime I do it. Now this is absolutely useless, so hopefully you don't get one here. Oh, he's seeing two cards, too. I need me a scorched earth so I can run this cerebral cast. Here, oh, but he chooses to take the brain damage or not, so it's kind of like meh. What's this? Code gate? Look at the top three cards. But, oh, he did the Levy AR, so he got them all back. So he got all his stuff in here. Nope, no breakers yet. Oh, he trashed that levy into there, so he hasn't got it. Hmm. Oh, really? It's like that. That's nasty. Oh, that's why he was running this. It makes sense now. I'm ultimately in a really bad position. Hmm. Very interesting. That's a code gate and a barrier. I don't have high hopes for this one. It just gets worse. I hate to do it for him, but oh, actually, dang it, it's, it's too late now. Bam. Mm. I 
don't need the sentry. I definitely need the barrier. And I will take that one too. Hmm. I love it. Throw that one out there. Don't need that. Uh, I got money. I kind of want to. Yeah, let's go there. Uh, still got to discard more. Sucks. But all right. I'll get those back. So I'll get that back. Easy. my oh terrible I've hurt myself, unfortunately. Ah, uh, you know what I'll do. Has he got it? Oh, three cards, man. Not good. 
but how many we got out here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Sure hope he doesn't have another one of these. Now I see how this card is used. That's pretty cool. I didn't know. I never understood that combo. So you throw out a fem, then you basically trash the fem, reinstall it, place it wherever you want, even though you can only do it so many times. I kind of want to res it just to make them pay some money. I'll slow them down just a hint, at least. I think fem should be a unique card. It's got a all right, let's see here. So he'll get to pay two and two. Last time he paid what? Zero? He's went zero every time. Hadn't he? No, he hadn't. Let's see if he does it. Oh, I knew it. Well,
Well, that is Reboot this week. We got Nieces, an extra buck. Like, I like what they've done, especially for Walls of Thorn. I always thought Walls of Thorn was a little pricey. They dropped that down to six bucks. They bumped Nisi up three. They dropped the trash cost of Jackson Howard down to two. They've done some cool stuff. Uh, I really I really enjoy this format because I really feel like I'm playing original um, Netrunner with just a hint of tweaks such as right here you gain two instead of just one whenever you spend secretly spent credits which makes this one a good bit better and a lot of the cards are still the same so I'm getting the same opportunity to play almost that Ret Runner format but in a um, in this in this tournament space as well and I'm always wanting to play the original cards I just want to experience them and, and know them pretty well so I'm absolutely enjoying this I enjoyed this uh, these games I look forward to practicing with my decks a little bit more I almost feel like I need to go in and tweak that shaper deck because I really don't know what I'm doing with shaper I need to go swap over to Anarch but I, I don't have a whole lot of time to play a ton of games this week with with um, this deck necessarily so because I'm, I'm doing red runner and modded as well so I'm probably gonna I probably spread myself a little too thin and I'm probably gonna stink at uh, all of them even though I think I might switch over to an anarch deck and get it kind of close to to my current red runner deck maybe that way I can kind of have a little bit of overlap with the cards and be familiar with them. So I'm going to go look at some Anarch decks potentially before next time. But I love this Gentechi deck. I love it. I just got to learn how to use it well because this is my kind of deck. I like the trickery because I'm not very good at straightforward Netrunner just yet. I need a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, trickery going on there. So anyway, it was uh, fun. And we will do it again soon. Y'all take care.